praise be Jesus and Mary. Whenever we recite the creed and we get to the part where we profess that our Lord suffered under Pontius Pilate, we declare a very important fact. The work of redemption happened in a specific time and place in history. Indeed, God truly entered time and space. Our faith is rooted in history, a history but at the same time mystery because history of salvation. And from the earliest times when Christians and the early Christians wanted to enter this mystery, as we read in the Acts, of the apostles, they devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and fellowship, to breaking of bread and the prayers. In other words, to enter into that mystery, the apostles dedicated time and reserved space for divine worship. This is why the term church, or the Greek term ecclesia, has uh, eventually came to be used in reference not only to the people who assembled together, got together, but also to the place or the building to which they gathered. And this happened during the persecution. During the persecution, the first Christians got together privately, private buildings reserved for worship. It was only after the edict of Milan 313, where they were able to publicly worship. And the first officially consecrated church is the Basilica we celebrate today, St. John Lateran. And the full meaning of this feast is written on the church itself. When you're, if you're looking at the towering facade of St. John Lateran, and when you get a little closer, Next to the main entrance, there is a very important inscription which says, Omnium urbis et orbis, ecclesiarum mater et caput. It says, this church is mother and first mother and head, first of all churches in Rome and in the world. So what we celebrate today is the Catholicity of our faith. Catholic, universal, means, yes, means universal, but also implies unity. Catholic and unity go hand in hand. This is why this feast is an expression of our love and veneration for the Roman church, which, as St. Ignatius says, presides in charity over all the other churches. This is why in Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 834, says particular churches, so for example, a diocese, particular churches are fully Catholic through their communion with one of them the Church of Rome. And this is what St. John Lateran represents. It's the Cathedral Church of Rome because it has the Cathedral of the Roman Pontiff. So in today's feast, let us renew our union with the Holy Roman Church and the Roman Pontiff taking up and living the motto of St. Jose Maria Escriva, which says, all with Peter to Jesus through Mary. Praise be Jesus and Mary.